Once you have a floor in place, one of the things that you can do is copy that floor and that floor condition up to level three as well as level four. To do this, we need to begin by selecting on the floor. If you're able to find the edge of the floor right there at the edge of where the curtain wall is at, click in order to select it. Next, there's a tool and it's called copy the clipboard. That's different from the normal Revit copy command, which is over here you want to select the copy the clipboard command. Once you've done that, you'll notice that paste becomes available. Click on the word paste, then select align to selected levels. When you do this, it'll ask you a question. Which levels would you like to have your floor copied up to? Click level three to start with, hold down control, and then select level four. Holding down control allowed you to select more than one at a time. Click OK. Now immediately it looks like nothing special has happened, but in the background it's copied this floor up to level three as well as level four. Now go to your 3D view to take a look at it. And we can see it's copied that floor up to each of those levels. Now in this case, I really want my level four to be a roof object. So click on the floor and then hit the delete key on your keyboard. And that'll get rid of that particular floor up there on top now that we've done that, we can spin it around and we can take a look at how that floor looks in our plan. Remember, all you need to do is select on a floor, come over here to copy the clipboard, then choose paste, and then align it to selected levels. And this also works with such things as our ceilings, furniture, and anything that might be on that level that we would have selected. It'll make exact copies of those going all the way on up your building to any levels that you select.